let's talk for a second about loading a visual approach. You have two options. So if we go here, procedures, and then we do select approach, and you select your runway, it gives you two options, vectors and straight. Vectors is a line along the entire uh, final approach course of the runway you're landing on. Mm -hmm. But look at that. Here's final, here's straight. You see these two waypoints? Right. If you select straight, Wait, that? it makes a line between your current position and this waypoint. So again, vectors, look right here, vectors, doesn't make any line between you and anything. It just draws a line along the entire final approach course all the way up to Idaho. Okay. If you select straight, let's say we're 10 miles to the east of the airport, uh -huh. it will draw a line and connect your present position to this waypoint. Oh, to get so you set up now, there. Right, so now if I do straight, activate. Hold on, I didn't do it. So straight and then activate. Now look what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tracking you. It's, it's it draws not only a line along the entire I final gotcha. approach course, but a line from us okay. to that waypoint. Okay. In that mode, I could go just like any other time in in a flight flight plan, and I could highlight a waypoint inside of it, which is final. I could do direct enter enter, and now look what happens. It takes us. It draws a line from us to the final. Okay. So vectors doesn't tie a string between us and the approach. Okay. Straight ties the string between us and the second waypoint out on okay. the approach, which is called straight. Okay. The inner waypoint is called final. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's the difference. Okay. So in our case, all we want is to use it for situational awareness. We don't want to draw a line between anything. Right. So we'll do procedures, select approach, one seven, vectors, right. activate, and then it just doesn't draw a line from us to anything. Okay. It just gives us a situational awareness of what our downwind and final okay. courses look like. Easy? Simple. Cool. Good stuff. So, you know, I mean, obviously today we're not talking ATC, but so say they say, you know, you do the call and they say uh, continue runway heading, you know, VFR visual one way heading. Could you set set this on your your uh, your heading bug to one seven or whatever. Uh, that's you're exactly leaving. what you want to do. And then that way you just follow just that. Track that. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So in our case, we could put this to the top of that and just track that on the upwind. Assuming there's no crazy crosswinds, you should track straight up on the upwind. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Why is the needle to our left? Because the final approach course of one seven is to our left. Uh, Easy? Yeah. Solid. I think, I'm, I think I'm ready. Good to go. Let's make it happen, folks. Turn to traffic, white Cessna, back taxi, the active 17, back taxi. Turn. Okay, clear right, uh, right recording, head away, so dive away from it. So, right now, the wind's coming from there. You want to be into it, the wind. Once we taxi down the runway, it will be a left quartering tailwind, which will be down and away. Make sense? So right now, just neutral into the wind. So the elevator neutral, but the ailerons into the wind. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Now you could dive down and away. Perfect. Good stuff. Solid work. Robbie, welcome back. Yeah, man. Man, airplane time. Yeah. Busy day today? No, I just, no, not really. Lights are all on. And then trims set a little bit here. <clears throat> okay. I think we're good. Good stuff. Now, if we already know, let's do, let's do 1100 RPM even, because you see how it's uh, the alternators. Struggling. If we already know that we're going to do left close traffic for 1 7, what uh, could you load up here for increased situational awareness? Uh, procedures, approach, uh, visual for 1 7, it's already in there. Go back down here and activate it. Boom. Boom. Good. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Good. Good. Oh, did you use it on the way in? 
No, no, no. I'm saying always get rid of this. Oh, because that pops Habit. up. Habit. Yep. Hey, when you when we did that one in uh, Mojave, uh huh. The last waypoint was in that restricted, so you just highlighted it and you went to the next one and hit. Right, the straight enter, enter, right? waypoint was in the restricted, so I highlighted final and did direct enter enter. Okay. There's two options with, um, let's talk for a second about loading a visual approach. You have two options. So if we go here, procedures, and then we do select approach, and you select your runway, it gives you two options, vectors and straight. Vectors is a line along the entire uh, final approach course of the runway you're landing on. Mm -hmm. But look at that. Here's final, here's straight. You see these two waypoints? Right. If you select straight, Way to hell up there. it makes a line between your current position and this waypoint. So again, vectors, look right here, vectors, doesn't make any line between you and anything. It just draws a line along the entire final approach course all the way up to Idaho. Okay. If you select straight, let's say we're 10 miles to the east of the airport, uh -huh. it will draw a line and connect your present position to this waypoint. Oh, to get you so set up now, there. Right, so now if I do straight, activate. Hold on, I didn't do it. So straight, and then activate. Now look what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tracking you. It's, right. It draws not only a line along the entire I final gotcha. approach course, but a line from us okay. to that waypoint. Okay. In that mode, I could go just like any other time in, in a flight. Flight plan, and I could highlight a waypoint inside of it, which is final. I could do direct enter, enter, and now look what happens. It takes us, it draws a line from us to the final. Okay. So vectors doesn't tie a string between us and the approach. Okay. Straight ties the string between us and the second waypoint out on okay. the approach, which is called straight. Okay. The inner waypoint is called final. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's the difference. Okay. So in our case, all we want is to use it for situational awareness. We don't want to draw a line between anything. Right. So we'll do procedures, select approach, one seven, vectors, right. activate, and then it just doesn't draw a line from us to anything. Okay. It just gives us a situational awareness of what our downwind and final okay. courses look like. Easy? Simple. Cool. Good stuff.